Guess what? Guess what? We got a special guest today. We got a special guest today. Who's this good looking guy? <laughs> I don't even know what to call him. What's, what's going on, family? What's going on, family? A man of many aliases. Um, <laughs> no, no, to many about Vegas, known to those who love me as Derek. So we can go, we can go with DG. Yo, appreciate y'all having me, man. I love this idea, man. I love what you guys are doing. And uh, let's get to it. Well, all right. So let me correct you a little bit on that. Um, the NCAA um, absolutely is not paying anyone anything. <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> what's what's happening is uh the NCAA is now allowing st uh, student athletes to basically make money off their name and likeness which went against their amateurism uh concept um okay. so i mean that's kind of what it is basically giving them the right to do what any and everyone else in the world could do they're about Hundred years late on that, but you know it is what it is. Everything in time, they say. So pretty much, right. pretty yeah. much, they, they're letting them go find their money. Pretty much, right? Yep. Like, yep. so, like if I like, say, like with the video games, like like Madden. I'm not Madden, but like NCAA football come back. They could probably use their names in the game, whatever have you, and probably get paid from things like that, right? Is that what we're saying? <laughs> yep. You know, endorsement deals, uh -huh. things like that. Yeah, because for the longest time in video games, you know, of course, they didn't use, they didn't use any of the guys' names. You know, you yeah, it was just jersey number. numbers. Just jersey yeah, numbers. Yeah, So, all right, so basically something like this, right? Um, right now, we're in the era of social media, right? And everything and everyone has a brand, right? And you and I can get on Instagram. We have enough followers. Instagram will pay you. Like, you'll get sponsorships from people to, you know, do their promo. You know what I'm saying? You see someone with a <coughs> uh, a Theragun or, uh, you know, some kind of uh, supplement or whatever the case may be. Someone is paying them to do that, right? Mm -hmm. um, you, can, you, you can go, if you had, a, like, a school like Alabama, right? Nick Saban owns, I don't know how many Mercedes-Benz dealerships, Right. You can go there and like do signings, you know what I'm saying? Get money for that. Basic stuff that you should have been able to do a long time ago to now basically say, okay, you so can. What, what my question is, why is it taking so long for um, the NCAA? Uh, why is it taking so long for these guys to get paid in any type of way? Like, what, what do you think that's about? Yo, bro, it's basically money, man. It's money you control. Um, the NCAA didn't want to give up what they would consider amateurism and wanted to keep the uh, players basically in check. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and I don't, I don't <laughs> like you're not taking any money out of their pockets by allowing them to do what they're doing right now, but they didn't want to do it because they said it went it flew in the face of what they considered NCAA to be as amateurs. And they're saying they're already getting paid. And I'm like, bruh, like, I understand the importance of a free tuition. Trust me. I saw the value. Right. When you get out of school, you don't have to worry about that. That's huge, right? That cannot be discounted. But what I'm saying to you is the amount of money that comes in from these athletes and nothing comes back. Like, forget paying me. Right, but the stuff that I'm doing to help the sport in the school and the university and the conference, and I can't go out and just say, Hey, I'm the star running back, and you can't buy me a sandwich to say, Great game. Come on, bro, that's right. ridiculous, right? Right, hey, so I'm gonna be that guy, I'm gonna be that guy, okay? And I'm gonna tell You're you, that that guy, I don't, I, I, I that don't agree with them getting, I don't, I don't agree with them getting paid, okay. What I what I see, what I see should happen, okay? Whatever pro I think they should allocate the funds, you know, they need to be more responsible with the funds that they actually uh, you know bring in. That's what I think needs to happen. I think more of that the more of the funds that they bring in from the sports program, because that is the bigger lore, right? For for these uh for these uh you know state universities, right? 
or private university, whatever, you know, D1 schools, we're talking about the major D1 schools. I think the money should be distributed better. I think the money should go towards, you know, uh, different different programs in school, like, you know, your science program, your medical school, your, you know, whatever have you. I think it should be evenly distributed. Yeah, the school, and, and it's cool that, this, you know, that's the, that's their main, that's their main, uh, that's their main fund, and that's where they get all you know, uh, their, 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 their financials from. You're mistaken in, in your assumptions that um, the school, the university, spends money on football. That's absolutely backwards. The, okay, the, okay, the, okay, okay, I got the, you, I got the, you. I got the you. athletic programs give money to the school. Okay. Like, like I got the you. University, so, so the so university no of way. Michigan... University of Michigan doesn't say to um, University of, the University of Michigan football team doesn't go to the athletic department or the university. It's like, hey, we need some money for X, Y, and Z. We are given money by donors. Gotcha. 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 Our gotcha. program, our program is self sufficient, right? right? And then so we give a portion of that money to the school, and the school could do with it as they please, right? Okay, so they don't, they, we don't come to them for money. They co- they come to us for money. Huh. Okay. No, I, I got not you. Mention, I got you. Not to, mention, not to mention, mention all the money that they make off of like ticket sales. Um, you know, um, D, do they make um they make money off of uh, television as well? Hell yeah, television. That's where Notre Dame. That's why Notre Dame. That's why Notre Dame doesn't want to join a conference. Right. They're independent. So if you play for a conference, if you go to a bowl game. You get I don't know, some like thirty something million dollars for a bowl game, depending on the size of the bowl game, and that gets split through the conference. Since so Notre Dame football program, football only, because the other the other teams are in different conferences, like ACC and they have another conference for hockey. They take all that money themselves, all that bowl game money, that TV that TV contract money. Notre Dame was one of the first teams to have a TV contract. They rolling in bread. Damn, bro. So let me ask you this. Here. Let me ask you this. So you, since you play D one ball, um, you play D one. I'm not gonna call you old, <laughs> but it was a minute ago. <laughs> Quite some time. <laughs> Quite some time, right? So, you know, I got a couple. I got a couple of questions about your experience, right? So one, you know, um, were you broke? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, were? I mean, of course, you're not gonna tell on yourself, but you know, like, is it is it safe to assume that these players? Need this bread? I mean, we know. We, I think we all agree that they're deserving of the bread. But do we? Do we think that they? Are we saying that they need the bread? Are they broke college students who are watching their teams yeah. generate millions yeah. of dollars? Absolutely. Great fucking question. Great fucking Absolutely. question. Absolutely. Listen, bro. Like, put, put and, it and before, right? before, you, before you embellish, the reason why I ask that is because I've visited. i visited UGA. These kids appear to want for nothing. Like, there are campuses where they never have to leave the athletic complex. Like, they got their own cap. They got their own study hall. They got their own sleep room. They got their own everything. You know what I mean? Like, well, time, you know what I'm time, uh, t- Times could have obviously changed since I was in school and would change before someone else could, was, like, in school before me. But I'm telling you like this. Sure. When I was in school, think about, like, the offensive line, the offensive defensive line. Those guys have to eat tons of food in a day to maintain <laughs> weight and get, in a, and get in the gym, right? We, did, we didn't have specified cafeterias, and we were only allowed to have what a regular student can have, right? So whatever, oh, wow. the, maximum, whatever the maximum meal plan was, that was all you can get. So like by half of the season, right, a lot of the players were done with their food. They, they literally yeah. had to go around yeah. asking for like, can I get some change to have a meal, bro? Damn, bro. Damn. Damn. Tell you. Uh, like yeah, man. you, 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 you don't understand yeah. how much, how much that people are going through, because you're thinking, oh man, they this, they that, they, yeah, you know, you, you, you see us coming to the study hall. I mean, coming to the cafeteria, and it's a whole bunch of us with tons of food on our plate. But do you see that late in the season? You see that early in the season? You don't see that late in the season. You see a scattered now. Wow. People gotta sit in their room hungry. So it's you know what I'm saying the situation be different for every school now, you know I'm sure now things are different, um, but I'm telling you when I was playing this is what was going on. Oh, that's his hungry. Oh. That's his oh. hungry. Yeah, so so I went to pick um, myself and uh, I remember man there 
those guys, man, they had it made. Uh, athletes had it made. And the school program at the time, it was roughly around 97, 98. Uh, they weren't that great. But the anemones were there. Like, uh, their dorms were plush. They're lavish. I mean, they're going up there and hanging out with a couple of the players. And, uh, yeah, it was amazing up there. You know, they had a, a complex of their own. You know, um, and as far as food and all that other stuff, I don't know, it might differ from school, you know, school to school. And you're the athlete, so you would know better. But from what I saw, they, they I never saw those guys. <laughs> and if they didn't want to slum it and come down to the towers and eat at the, you know, uh, eat at the chow hall with us, man, you know, every now and then, you know, they could. But they pretty much had all their, all, you know, their own separate complex, man. And they, they, were, they were taken care of. Um, but I do feel you. So what would you say? What would you say? I'm sorry. What would you say? Like a daily intake as far as calories would be for one of those guys, man. We told ten thousand. What, what we told like eight, like yeah, man, like eight, eight thousand calories a day for my uh, offensive defensive God. lineman. Woo. Eight thousand. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for if, if, if depending on what kind of running back you were, I was on like a thirty five hundred, and I was okay. at when I, at my peak. I was thirty five hundred, and I was at like nine percent body fat. Nine percent. Oh. Woo! Yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah. You got dog clawed. So we can't. Yeah. It. So yeah, we had our own gym. We had our own. Facility. We can't like how we work out. The time and schedule we have to work out on. See, all that stuff was regiments. You know what I'm saying? Like gotcha. with your gotcha. with your school schedule, you had a gap, and in that gap, you had to hit the gym. And we can't go to the gym and fight for space and fight for racks and fight for. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not gonna work. So yeah, right. we had to have our own gym. We shared our gym with the uh with the track team. Oh, okay. I, I got you. Most, most football teams have their own gym. Period. We're gonna, we're, I got one more question, Dave. But um, before I ask that question, so what's the play process you're talking about? I don't want nothing. I don't want nothing to sign up.